Ladies and gentlemen, now coming out for the Golden State Warriors. Thank you. Number two. Nope. George Ruiz. A.K.A. Negro. El que calienta la banca. El golito lindo de la radio who's quitting after the show. <laughs> Jason David, que lo que... Y el menor le da la... El rompe vieja. El rompe vieja y el mata gorda. Creeping, the voice of God, the voice of la vieja, the voice of la gorda, the voice of the Golden State Warriors. Y soy fanático de los Bulls, so don't talk about basketball to me, please. Ah. So, <laughs> you know, game one. Yeah. Game one. Game two. Mm -hmm. Game two. Warriors up 2 0. Mm -hmm. Warriors, Warriors, Warriors and the refs up 2 0. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Kerry breaks the record for the most three pointers made. Mm hmm. Beats Ray more. Allen. And Could've then LeBron is having what I would like to call crybaby moments. Not crybaby moments. I'm going to call it a hairline meltdown. Okay. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> I like the name. Right? Why well, you go personal like that? Right? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> no, I'm serious, though, because, you know, listen, I've never felt bad for LeBron, but that game won. Yeah, that one hurt. They got 50, 50, 50 what? 52? 51. 51 points? 51 points in a game that you should win on a free throw, let me just say, because it's really not J.R. Smith's fault. It's George Hill's fault for missing okay. the, the last going. Free Apparently, it's the rest But J.R. Smith decided to go the buy some but, but, but J.R. Smith did beyond his job to get a defensive rebound. And then he to go by Henny. Time out. Let me finish my fucking stuff. He runs out, and when he runs out, if you look at the video very closely, you look at the positions and where LeBron hands are. This is the position for those who are watching the video. I have one hand as if I'm shooting, and I got the other one a bit back. If I put them together, what does this look like? It's called time timeout. Out. Timeout. You saw right? my video that close? Oh, yeah, trust me, I study this shit. <laughs> so it looks like it's a timeout. If I run up the ball with four seconds out, and I see LeBron like this, I'm going to look at LeBron like, yo, what you want me to do? Time out, or, or am I passing to you, right? Then he does the second gesture when he puts both hands out as to pointing, as to pass the ball. No, shoot okay. the fucking ball. He passes the ball, boom, game's over. Now, I'm going to bring it to the floor. Boy. Thoughts, questions, boy, boy. You, you comments, me? and concerns from game one. Muchacho, you want me to boy. tell you what I thought about it? I want to hear a LeBron fan. We have no. none. Stop. <laughs> we <laughs> have none. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna speak as a basketball fan, my my personal self. But like, first of all, I was a No, un animal. That's it. El mejor del mundo quién es? Todo el mundo agree, por favor. LeBron James. Sure. Sure. Okay. Sure. <laughs> okay. No, I hate that nigga, but yeah. I can't let you win. You give him credit. Yeah. But JR, the great rebound. Great Relax. rebound. Relax. Amazing rebound. Great rebound. George Hill, both in low. I agree. First of all, Kevin Durant, that real should have never happened. That's number one. That is very true. Number two, J.R. Smith, put the ball in the hole. Go for the layup. Get a foul. Or make the points. Win game. Okay? Shh. Lebron. Okay. Mama Goebo. Ya que la cago. La cago ya. There's nothing else you could do. Finish the game, Mama Goebo. He shot two times. In overtime. Twice. He was over. Twice. It was over. It wasn't. No, no. I said it was he was over. It. And put, imagine 51 points and you you get the ball and you walk Mete away. Mete 60. So. Nah. Mete 60. Am yeah. I the only one that noticed that J.R. Smith went to go by Hennessy because he oh, thought yeah, they won? Va a seguir. Or how, how LeBron asked um, Drake for help. Yeah, he's asking Drake for help because he was giving Drake the baby, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but, but reality is, reality is, I don't think it's J.R. Smith's fault. I really don't. I, I, I think, don't. I think Jr. Uh, I think George Hill should have finished the game, make Wait. that point. We have four seconds. Now you're pushing the Golden State to have to make a layup, a three-pointer, to either tie or win the game. You put him in a different situation, right? So, and I feel like everyone's kind of coming at J.R. Smith's like, head because he, he caught a defensive rebound. In the last four seconds, and after he ran out, he didn't know what to do with the ball. You know why that happens? Because when you have a quote-unquote leader who just does everything he wants and nobody around him gets better, that's what happens. Why? Because for every single fucking move, you know what we got to do now? We got to look at LeBron. LeBron, what do you want to do? That's what happens on a team like that. That's what happens. And it also because, I'm going to put it to you like this, Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan, who a random-ass fucking player. When Tim Duncan was on fire, you know what happened to everybody else on around him? Candela. 
And you know what happens to motherfucking LeBron? Motherfucking nothing. Because he's the only one on that team that could do anything. Why? Because he's the only one that does shit on that team. Why? Because he's not a good leader. Boy. Y lo dije yo, coñazo, man, el diablo. Boy, boy. Huevo. Yo nunca defiendo a LeBron, pero lo voy a defender ahora, mamá. Defiendo Huevo. Si tú quieres, mamá, ñema. Pon atención. J.R. Smith, hace cinco meses, averaging three points. Cinco meses. Ok. A.K.A. una mierda. Ok. Dos. Si ellos meten los tiros open shots que están tirando, el juego no está ahí. I would agree to you on that. Vela. So, LeBron James, tu maldita madre, porque tú eres un hijo de tu maldita madre, tú jugaste el juegazo de tu vida, pero los mamagüevos que están alrededor tuyo, que son unos mamagüevos, no sirve. So, can, okay, so can, we, can we all agree then? Hold on. Let me take it back. Let me take it back. Let me take it back real quick. J.R. Smith, he was averaging like what, three points, right? <clears throat> But what's, what, what was he doing when he was in the Knicks? A lot more. He was averaging 15. Okay. Hmm. I wonder why. Uh, what's the blanquito que tira? Cover. He what never averaged Cor more than 10. What was what was Cover doing in, in the other team? In the Hawks. Averaging, yeah. averaging 10. Uh, 10? You sure it was 10? It was 10. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's higher. Anyway, so no, what is he doing 10. now? Yeah, yeah. Oh. But okay. no, 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 they don't put him to play that much. I understand, but what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to tell you is that I feel like, and this is just my personal opinion, if you want to come at my neck, make sure to leave your comments below. I just feel like players go there and become nothing. Why? Because for every single move that you want to make, you have to pass it by LeBron. It's not like an open leadership where you have somebody who's taking the team with them. It's LeBron, what we're doing. But that it's not what, are, not, it's not what the team is doing. That's the team's fault. That's not LeBron's fault. No, I blame, I blame LeBron. I don't blame Nigga, LeBron. Listen to me. When you're a player, you're a player you play and you tell a coach, nah, this is what we're doing. It's LeBron's fault. Why do you think Kyrie left? It's that ball. simple. If you get the ball, why you got to pass it to LeBron? You got... Kyrie Irving left for right? that reason. In a... Boom! Coño, oh, Jay. Jay! Jay! Kyrie Jay, Irving Jay, said oh, it. Yo. I want to be able to be on a team where I can do what I need to do to help the team. It doesn't have to go by oh, one person. Bitch, fuck you, LeBron. Let me play, let me play the game. The and game. then guess what LeBron happens? Not gonna take the and then guess what happens? Himself. No, That's but... Sure. That's okay, you, you tell LeBron, yo, fuck you. Let me do what I want. Guess what happens? Bye You're benched next game. Oh, okay. He got rid of I, um, Isaiah Thomas. And he's going to be... The whole Golden State. That, be that's not a good argument. The Isaiah Thomas argument. Isaiah Thomas is kind of trash this year, this whole year. Yeah, but either way, but but do you understand what I'm trying to say though? Like, yeah, it, I get you. It's 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 just like as a player there, I feel like it's yo, we have to pass it by LeBron before we any make any sort of drastic decision. That's like, I mean? And when power. you and when you have four seconds, there's no time for me to ask LeBron because you know what's gonna happen. So Game's gonna be wait, over, and I'm pass the ball, and we're gonna lose in overtime. And I'm gonna buy some candy. No, time out. And you're only gonna take two shots in overtime, and we're gonna lose. Yeah. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna play on J.R. Smith. But you know what? Fuck LeBron. Because if LeBron really wanted to win that game, he would have gone ham on overtime. Because that was the one chance they're gonna get no. to beat Golden State at home. Th this is how LeBron would have won that game. That's it. This is how LeBron would have won that game. By stop drinking Henny. Check out there. No, check out there. Check out there. Check out there. Pero pongan atención. LeBron, quedan 35 segundos. No. 15 segundos quedan. LeBron tiene la pelota at, on the top of the key. ¿Quién lo está guardeando? Pongan atención. Stephen Curry. ¿Cuánto, cuánto, cuánto mide Stephen Curry? 6-3. ¿Cuántas libras tiene? 220, maybe. LeBron, 6-9, maybe 10. 250. Músculo nada más. First of all, you could take Curry and you get the foul. He could take him, he could shoot on him, he could do what he Pero wants. La gente, le, este, 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 así como ellos lo saben, oh no, que Draymond y, y Vaina estaban en los elbows. Draymond y Durant. No me acuerdo. If he drives, he's going to get a foul. They're going to give him a foul. They already blew a fucking call not too long ago. They're going to give him a foul. And if you have LeBron at the free throw line, yeah. I'd rather LeBron than George Hill Wait, at the free throw line. Were they, you were, be were they at a timeout? Like, When he got the real No, they had one time. They had one. They had one Why? Time. You know, Why J.R. Smith didn't out? know. Because, but, but, yo, but when there's it, so much tension listen, going on in the game that's so close, Why I know what happened. I, call time out. But, I, game, I game. got a call from J.R. I know what happened, right? right J.R. gave George Hill Henny, and George Hill missed that second free throw, no, and J.R. drunk the bottle and ran with it. The way you said you George Hill. George Hill se recordó. ¿Tú te recuerdas el taponazo que tú me diste? Que LeBron le dio. Yo jugaba en Indiana. Ay, yo, cuando jugaba en Indiana. No ¿Tú me te acuerdas recuerdas ese tapón? Ahora voy a fallar. Tú sabes lo que oye. Tú sabes lo que un tapón. You know when you play volleyball? Lo sentó, mi hermano. From the, out, from the outside, right? 
Con la asa así, ¡tufua! Se lo mandó para el otro lado y vino LeBron y hizo así, ¡mira! ¡LeBron! No, le, sí. Oye, le dio que lo mandó cinco años atrás. Eso oye, fue lo que pasó. No, esto fue lo que pasó. Chequéate. <risa> Chequéate. George Hill makes the first one, right? George Smith steps out the box y le pregunta, What's the score? How many timeouts we got? And he's looking at everybody. Nadie le dice nada. Desde ese momento, él no sabía lo que estaba pasando. Entonces, George Hill ni, ni se para. Entonces, George Smith se envuelve y se mete. No sabe nada todavía. George Hill tira. Eh, Durant, por magia, no coge el rebote. Ayer estaba cogiendo, ayer yo estaba viendo a Durant cogiendo unos rebotes que le hacía como un gato, que hacía así, guacacán, y la cogía. Y Jair Smith hace, oh, déjame salir por fuera, pues yo pienso que estamos ganando. Por mí nosotros ganamos. Jair Smith hizo algo bueno porque él pensaba que ganamos. Yeah, he literally did say, I didn't know what the score was. Y ya. O un maricón, sí. Le veron otro maricón, sí. That's he it. got so much heat on you and then come second game and score five points. He didn't score anything. I think he made five points. No. no. no? He didn't score anything. He shot, he shot five times. I think, no, nah, I think he made a three. So three points. Listen, nah, point is, point is, I just want to make this clear. Listen, I am, I, I totally agree that I am a very big LeBron hater because I am. I, I don't, I don't, should not sign on that. I am a LeBron, LeBron hater. That's, that's, and, I, and I'm a media's fault. That's and, the media's fault. And that's the media. Well, yeah, I would agree to that. Definitely the media's fault. I hate, the, fault. I hate LeBron because, because of the media. Once again, and, I'll, and I say this anytime, you can see me, catch me wherever you want to catch me. You can catch me at, Alo, at Negro Alo Scudo. You catch me there. Um, and my reason why I don't like him is because I, don't, I feel like great players should never state that they are the best player in the world. But, eso fue todo. Aquí en Alo Scudo Negro. Like I said before, if you like our show and you like what you see, Make sure to subscribe. Hit the hit the uh, hit the bell. bell. Vamos a hacerlo, vamos a hacerlo, porque fu 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 fu. Esto es práctica, mi gente, para que usted no piense. If you like the show and you like what you and, ah, coñazo, pero if you like the oh, show you and you know, like what you show and you like what you see, subscribe, hit the bell, make sure to get all the notifications and follow us on Instagram, Aluscuro TV, and visit us at negroaluscuro.com. Don't forget a podcast. It's on SoundCloud. Facts. I got it this time. Goodbye. Come on, my guy.